this pull safely program is kind of a new, a new shot of, of um, uh, energy for us. It, it's kind of a new infusion of something different to do, something, a new, a new course of action for us to take instead of relaying the same information, which is of course important, but now we have a more active hands-on method of reaching into the pool owner's backyard and actually helping them create a safer uh, environment for them for themselves. I've been working with, uh, back in the day, she was the lowly state representative, Debbie Washington Schultz, and followed her all the way up. And so for her to champion this, I've been involved with her from the beginning. So to see her get the message that we started down in Broward County, national, it's like, a, it's amazing. It's amazing that, the, that at a national level, we're talking about drowning prevention. Having worked in water safety uh, for nearly 30 years and teaching uh, water safety lessons, life saving, lifeguarding, it's a great um, opportunity to educate the public. It's one in which uh, uh, some of my mentors had worked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission back in the late 70s, early 80s, and it's uh, very rewarding to see that CPSC is getting behind nationally, uh, disseminating information across the United States to educate the public, parents, children, and to try to reduce drownings and injuries from drownings. It's very exciting. Um, I look at aquatic industry that goes way back of its pieces of the puzzle. And those pieces have been floating out there. And I'm hoping that this is what's going to bring it all together and those pieces are going to start fitting. The American public has very little information available to them about drowning prevention. And the uh, uh, Hollywood movies and, and television shows and so forth all put a whole different thing to what drowning is all about. What we stress to the public is we need to prevent the incident before it occurs. There's no one answer. Yep. The risk of drowning is constantly evolving and you have to have multiple strategies in place and they have to be maintained. And through programs like Pool Safely, we're able to keep that in the public's eye and I hope we can sustain this program for, for decades to come. What this campaign really shows that um, we've come a long way. I am very grateful for Pool Safely and um, giving us that ability to uh, collectively work together across uh, many different agencies and network and become force multipliers in drowning um, prevention. I think I've waited all of my adult years for the perfect message and this is so easy to pass on and to distribute and it, it just flows beautifully um, and I can't thank you all enough for it. Um, I have many favorite um, event moments and um, seeing the kids put on life jackets and wear the sunglasses and put the tattoos on, they're so engaged in, in pool safely and it's, it's just, it's, it's wonderful and I hope it just goes on for years and years. I thought the coolest thing that, uh, that I've encountered was when uh, we were at Disneyland and I saw someone uh, wearing a, a pool safely uh, pair of sunglasses and, and to see the, 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 the message um, virally going out into, into the community was, was awesome. I, I think it's wonderful to have a, a concise message that everybody can understand that we can uh, relate to the community. Um, I, I, I get very emotional when, when I see pictures of, of children that have lost their, their lives to drowning and I think it's because um, I have small children and, and I'd like to think that uh, I'm making their, their lives better and, and, and making sure that uh, we don't lose any, any more kids. My favorite um, experience with the Pool Safely campaign has been working with the firefighters. Um, I'm married to a firefighter and living in Phoenix, having as many drownings as we have, I understand how they're affected by drownings. There's a special tone that goes out and they never want to hear it. In the course of my work, I've come to meet a lot of families who've lost children to drowning. And they're wonderful people. And I would give anything if we never had to meet. Simple steps save lives. That has just been perfect because Sometimes people feel overwhelmed by all they need to do to protect their children and, and we say, no, it's not that hard. Simple steps. And um, I really think that that is going to have a long lasting effect that people re will remember it and use that as a tagline, as a mantra, and use that for many years. So um, it's been wonderful to be involved in helping to, to spread that message.